Hey, friend, Chris Vandeviver here from whylogicprorules.com, the website that helps you get the most you can out of Apple's Logic Pro 10. Well, we're here. Today is the last and final day of this 30-day series. I hope that this has been helpful and enjoyable for you as it's been enjoyable for me to create these videos. I've really tried to dig into everything that I believe is fundamental to logic that I haven't quite covered yet in previous videos. And I've really tried to hit the foundations for those of us who are more beginner or new to logic while still peppering in details that could be helpful to those who are more advanced users. Today's video is gonna be a little shorter and this is gonna be focused on those logic features that I believe are truly specific to just logic and I haven't seen anywhere else. Now I could be wrong, but I try to pay attention to what else is out there in terms of recording software and tools and plugins, but I'm fairly certain that these features are specific to logic as a DAW so let's dig in. Now, number one in our list that I wanna dig into is a new feature that came out in a 10.4.5 update, and it's called Dynamic Plugin Loading. And before I explain what this is, I wanna open a project. I've gone through the painstaking process of saving a project with 100 or so complete control instances in this project. It's a software instrument or container, I would say, for other instruments from native instruments. And it's cool, but it's also agonizing to sit there and wait for it to load. So that's why I went through the process of saving a project with 100 instances of this thing, just so we can demonstrate dynamic plugin loading. So check it out. I'm gonna open the project. We're gonna wait for the project to load and dynamic plugin loading is doing some stuff under the hood to help us quickly open this project. And just like that, you can see that the project has instantly loaded. There's no regions and this is the point. But if we look, we have 100 plus tracks in the session with only one region. Open the mixer. We can see complete control on all these channel strips. They all look grayed out. And this is exactly the point. Dynamic plugin loading helps you load your projects faster. The way that it does this is that when you open a project, Logic is examining the plugins and the tracks and the channel strips and asking itself, are these channel strips and tracks actually being used by the project? And if a track doesn't have any actual regions living on the track lanes in here, then no, it's not actually being used by the project. And therefore, Logic just skips over those channel strips and tracks and doesn't load the plugins, doesn't load the instruments. And so it's a huge time saver. I'm thinking for those of us who are scoring to film or doing more orchestral work, using a lot of software instruments. And so you need a template that's locked and loaded with all of your instruments and plugins in place, but doesn't take eons to load. Now check it out. If we click on one of these tracks, Complete Control will load. It's offline until we click on the channel strip. And look, now it's loaded Complete Control. I don't even have an instrument loaded and it took a bit to load. Imagine that times 100. And that's what it used to be like prior to 10.4.5. Dynamic plugin loading is so awesome. I'm very certain that there's no other DAW that offers it and it dramatically speeds up opening your projects. And the setting can be found under File, Project Settings, General. It's right here, Opening Project, Only Load Plugins Needed for Project Playback. Now you could turn this off, I don't recommend it, I think it's much better with it on. And this is a project setting. So it's specific to the project itself. It's not global across all your projects. So you will have to set this on a per project basis. But by default, dynamic plugin loading is always enabled for your projects. Cool, number two in our list, absolutely specific to Logic is Smart Tempo. Smart Tempo is amazing. Basically Logic says, hey, don't bother recording to a metronome. You just do you, record at your pace, whether it be an audio track or MIDI, you record your performance and Logic will afterwards analyze the performance and then create a custom tempo track based on your performance. It's amazing. I have videos all about Smart Tempo, so I'll link those in this video. But check it out. I have a guitar track with Amp Designer. Let's take a listen to the first couple seconds and then we'll dig into Smart Tempo. Cool. Now, if we go into the editor, we have a tab right here called Smart Tempo. And we can see we have all these lines and they are signifying major beats and bars. Logic's already analyzed this audio. And if we go to edit, go down to apply region tempo to project tempo, just hit apply, take a look at the tempo track. And just like that, we have a custom tempo map for our performance. which is awesome. Now you can just load audio regions and software instrument tracks and drummer and everything else. And you can have those regions just conform to your existing performance and tempo map instantly. 
If we just go up here and click on the keep tempo, go down to smart tempo project settings, we can set new recordings or imported audio to conform based on bars or bars and beats. It's so helpful. And again, I'll link to those videos because that's a whole topic unto itself. Number three in our list of features that are specific to Logic definitely is Drummer. And I've covered Drummer several times. I'll include a link to those videos as well. But Drummer is amazing. It's a virtual drum player who can instantly add drums to your performances. It can even follow existing performances in the project so it better matches up with your songs. And Drummer ranges from rock to alternative to percussion to hip hop. It's awesome. And I'm just gonna load a Drummer track here and we'll set it to rock. And let's close all this down. And we'll just line this up with my track here. So we'll line it up with the first beat, open the editor, and we'll set this to follow my tiny amp blues. Check it out. I mean, this is bare bones. I'm not going to dig way deep into drummer. Drummer is awesome. And if we go into the library, you can see uh, pop rock, retro rock, songwriters, R&B. It's just amazing. And, and then I can fine tune by right clicking and going to convert to MIDI region. And then you can fine tune it from there. Drummer is truly an innovation for recording software. Now, number four in our list, I'm fairly certain Logic has the largest library of sounds, of loops, of impulse responses and all this extra stuff that comes with the software for the price tag. Logic is 199 US. And if we just go up here to Logic Pro 10, go down to Sound Library and go to Relocate Sound Library. And this is on purpose. Logic is going to analyze all of the files related to it because I've downloaded everything that comes with Logic. And we have 68.11 gigs of stuff that comes with Logic. And if we go up to Logic Pro 10, Sound Library and open the Sound Library Manager. We have everything from Apple Loops, which there's tons, reverbs, orchestral, electronic drum kits, drum kits, bass. I mean, if we open the library too and start poking through the different sounds, electronic drum kit. I mean, Drum Machine Designer, I'll link that in this video. It's just amazing. You get like 70 plus kits of electronic drums. You get a huge selection of acoustic drums. We have quick sampler and sampler and studio strings and horns and electric pianos. It's just amazing. And for the price tag of 199 US, hands down, the most stuff that ever could come with a DAW for the price tag. Now, number five in our list is that Logic is part of an integrated system. The unique position that Logic has over other recording software is that the manufacturer is the company that builds the computer. And this is Apple. And Apple makes GarageBand, makes GarageBand iOS, Music Memos, Logic Remote for the iPad, Logic Pro 10, Final Cut Pro, MainStage. And all of these pieces of software communicate with each other and integrate with each other. And I have a video on some of the integrations in Logic, and I'll include that as a link in this video. But you could start a project in GarageBand iOS, save it, and then open it in Logic, do some more work in Logic, share it back to your iPad, and even open up your patches in main stage if you want to play live with some of the patches. And with some of the recent announcements of Mac OS Big Sur, Apple switching from Intel to its own processors, I'm going to speculate that once the Mac OS is running on the same processors and running under the same sort of architecture as the iPad and the iPhone, we're going to start to see a lot more integrations happening and a lot more features fleshed out between these different devices communicating with each other. And who knows, maybe Logic Pro 10 will pop up on the iPad sooner than we expect. The two other thoughts that pop into my brain in terms of things that come with Logic that I don't see anywhere else is that if we open the inspector here, pop this open, we can open Auto Sampler, which is a tool that allows you to sample software instruments and external MIDI instruments and create your own sampler instruments. So I have a whole video on how to use Auto Sampler. I'll link it in this video. But I don't know of any other DAW that has an Auto Sampler that lets you sample your MIDI instruments, your hardware or your software instruments, and even toss plugins in the chain, sample it, and then package it up as your own instrument that you can take with your Mac. Also, I think it's worth pointing out is that Logic has notation. And you can format these as pages and you can add the instrument titles and you can add all sorts of details to your sheet music and then print your sheet music for other performers. I think this is incredibly important. It comes with logic. It's not an extra purchase. 
You don't have to buy Finale or Sibelius or anything else. Don't know of any other software. Maybe there is, but of the major players, no. You, you have to pay to be able to enjoy that functionality as a separate application. And so that's like seven things that come to my mind that are logic specific. Dynamic plug and loading, drummer, smart tempo, the amount of instruments and sounds and the loops that you get with logic for the price tag. Logic is part of a bigger system that I suspect is gonna get even bigger and more integrated as the next year goes on. Auto sampler for sampling instruments and being able to write and score your music as notation and then be able to print it without having to pay for a supplementary piece of software. So again, I hope this series has been tremendous help to you. I will continue to post as always, but maybe give me a week before I post again. Thanks so much for watching. Thanks so much for being a subscriber. Thanks so much for giving YLogic Pro Rules the time of day. I appreciate it so much, and I'll talk to you soon. Take care.